Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a repeating pattern using the Procreate Art app on an iPad. If you're interested in learning how to make one or you just want to see how I do it, watch along. The pattern I'm going to be showing you starts with a checker base, which I think is definitely the easiest way to create a repeating pattern for beginners. And plus it's really fun, so I hope you enjoy it. And at the end of the video, I'll include all the tools I use and what brushes I use. And please let me know as well if you have any questions at the end. To start, open up the Procreate app on your iPad. The file size that I used is 2300 pixels across, but you can feel free to choose a different size as long as it's a square. Next, I picked my two colors for my squares and I arranged them in a checkerboard type pattern like this. You can put them on separate layers or the same layer, it doesn't really matter for this pattern. Procreate has a handy snap to grid feature, so as you can see when I'm dragging the squares, little lines show up when they're perfectly aligned, and this is really helpful, and make sure that your squares are perfectly situated in their corners. After this, you want to draw whatever motif or pattern piece or piece of art you want to use right in the center where all the four squares connect. For this pattern, I chose a strawberry because they're one of my favorite fruits. Once you have your first piece drawn, you want to merge all your layers together, duplicate it, and then you want to move one halfway to the right and one halfway to the left, as you can see I did here. As you can see, after I've done this, there's a new center to the square where all the colors meet, and so you're going to want to draw another strawberry or whatever piece of art you're drawing right here in the new center. After this, you want to merge all your layers again, duplicate it again, and this time, instead of moving one left and one right, you're going to move one to the top and one to the bottom. If you've done this, you'll have a new center again where you draw another strawberry. After this, you'll merge all your layers again, duplicate that layer, and then move half to the right and half to the left for the last time. Once again, you'll have a new center to your pattern, and this is where you'll draw your last pattern piece. After this, you have a complete pattern swatch. This can be duplicated and added over and over so that you can have an endless repeating strawberry pattern as big or as small as you want it, depending on your canvas size. I think the most fun part of pattern making for me is this part where you get to see the final pattern come together and I think this one turned out really cute and I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.